Thunder in the Ozarks. The Battle of Pea Ridge. Today we're going back to March of 1862. This is, uh, as most of you probably know, a Herman Lutman design from Revolution Games. I played Kernstown earlier this year. That's in the same system. This is Blind Swords. Uh, this is actually the first game I bought in the system. And uh, I played a scenario or two before. The one I played kind of focuses on just this section of the battle over here. I've played that a couple of times solo and once opposed with my Uncle John. I think he took the Confederates, ended up beating me. But it's an interesting situation. I've never played the full campaign, so I've got some time, so I figured I'd set it up. The setup is a breeze. As you can kind of see, there's not a lot of counters. Um, so the setup's really quick. We've got our reinforcements over here. Sorry for the glare. I've been uh, relegated to the basement for the time being. We are expecting a child in February, so the upstairs is kind of... Uh, being cleaned and I got kicked out of my little spot where I was at um, but this is this is not bad I got the uh, playoff game on go Kansas City it's a crappy day outside so figured let's do this uh, as usual we have some delectable bush light to assist us in playing the game well anyways uh, so, so this is not a battle I know a ton about, but as far as the basic premise for the setup of the game, I think it suits Blind Swords really well. You'll see down here that we have two divisions uh, under Van Dorn, one of them being Price's Missouri State Guard Division. He's got a couple other smaller brigades in there. And McCullough, he's got an infantry brigade under Haybear and also a cavalry brigade under McIntosh and some Native American units under Pike. Uh, so that's a little interesting quirk. Uh, but the setup for the game, basically what you have is Van Dorn started somewhere over in this vicinity. From my understanding, I think the Union were arrayed down in this general area, kind of facing the opposite direction. Uh, Van Dorn stole a march, kind of got around. The ultimate goal was to get both divisions on the opposite side of Elkhorn Mountain, from my understanding. Uh, but these guys basically lagged behind, couldn't make it there in time, so Van Dorn basically just said, attack, we'll meet, you, we'll meet up with you as we get down into here. So you have two very distinct sections of the battle kind of going on simultaneously. Over here, this is the part of the battle that I've played before. Uh, the Confederates are going to be pushing to take Lee Town, and you'll see there's a bunch of victory condition or victory locations down here. Five's quite a few victory points. Um, so these brigades are going to be pushing down this road the Union defense, I've played a couple chip pulls of the first turn so far. There was an artillery unit in this location. They've been annihilated already by some charging Confederate cavalry. These guys did just fine. They passed some morale checks. They'll likely be falling back so that we can uh, let these Confederates come through the woods here and hopefully maneuver some artillery down into here so that we can fire at them as they're coming through the cornfield. Um, there's a couple decent Union regiments down here, the 22nd Indiana, the 12th Missouri, the 36th Illinois. Uh, those units are relatively decent in their quality, so that will be helpful from the standpoint of defending this side of the battlefield. What I don't want to do, or well, what I'm going to try to do as the Confederate player, is link up both of these um, kind of wings of the army, the two divisions. Hey Bear, or Hebert, I don't know exactly how, I know he's a Frenchman, I don't know exactly how it's pronounced. Uh, he has 
pretty decent brigades. I don't know if historically this was organized as one brigade, but within the game, it's separated into two, which is kind of nice because you can maneuver them. You got two chits. Uh, you're going to have more opportunity for movement with those guys. Over here, this is the part of the battle that I've not played out before. Uh, I never played this scenario um, solo or opposed. My Uncle John and I played, like I said, the Lee Town scenario. But over here, we've got the Missouri State Guard units coming down uh, this road, down this ridge right here. We've got a bunch of artillery, only a couple Union infantry units kind of standing in their path. Ultimately, their goal is going to be to take Elkhorn Tavern, which is right here. Uh, this crossroads is a victory location, and then from there, they're going to kind of be pushing down this road. Ultimately, there's Lee Town. So, this game is going to be driven by uh, the Confederates getting to those victory locations. Also, casualties come into play. We've got a Missouri Brigade here under, uh, I believe at this point it was Brigadier General Little. Uh, he was killed at Iuka, but he was a really good commander. He's got some very high quality Missouri units. These guys, I believe, become the nucleus for the formation of the Missouri Brigade when they transfer east, uh, fight at the Battle of Iuka, Corinth, Champion Hill, Vicksburg, all those places. So it's interesting because this is kind of the start of a bunch of those units. I think from the perspective of are they rated properly, I would say yes. Um, as far as what I've read about the other campaigns, I think it makes sense. So, so far we've only done a couple chip pulls. The artillery's moved up here. Uh, this brigade's moved up. We've got some reinforcements that are going to be coming on map for the Union from this location down here or this location. Um, we'll need them as quick as we can. The Confederates don't really get any reinforcements at this point, they'll be kind of using what they've got to get in position. Now, it is a 26-turn game if I play all the turns. We'll see. I might just play the first day. Kind of depends on how quick I get through it, but uh, I don't really have much to do today. We got football on. She's watching me. And eating a snack without asking me if I want some. I Un you some. Unreal. All right. Well, uh, that's about it. Maybe I'll check in with some updates as we go along. Hope you guys are enjoying your Sunday. And, uh, yeah. See you later.